Uh, okay. So perhaps there were some bickerings or some fighting here with the, the Five of Wands on the Nine of Pentacles over resources or I see these as petty arguments in the material realm and one person thinking that they're they have rightful ownership to maybe ideas or again material resources or projects and you you were standing firm in your conviction that the other party was just incorrect they had false information and you you did not want to have to deal with these people and bother yourself in these conversations or arguments. So I, I, this is pointing to, yeah, knowing in your heart that you were coming from a solid place and not taking anybody's crap, Scorpio. So good for you. Uh, standing your ground and retreating from these arguments and knowing that ultimately they they're just not worth your time. You have time is short and you had better better things to concentrate on in the month of January. And I'm wondering in part of your retreating, Scorpio, if Perhaps for some of you, there wasn't a little bit of a reliance on unhealthy substances or addictions because you were just wanting to get out of this energy of these squabbles in your, in your outer world. And so you just wanted to run away and not deal with it and, and, Maybe for some of you, have sort some sort of substance escape. Um, so perhaps that's resonating for some of you. And there's no judgment there. We've all been there, and just trying to make sure that there's a balance in your life and that you're treating yourself with respect and the nourishment that you need to sustain a healthy mindset. Um, so that's coming through. I'm going to flip over your February cards to see how those energies might be pouring into the month of February. So the Queen of Wands in reverse, the Knight of Cups in reverse, and the Three of Wands in reverse. That came out as I was shuffling for you, Scorpio. So I was wondering if it was going to be coming out in the reading. <clears throat> so who is this fire sign, sun, moon, or rising sign, Scorpio, in your life that you're not perhaps feeling the support that you would want to be receiving support from? It's a yeah, maybe there's some type of relationship ending. I know this isn't a romance or a love reading. Um, this is a general reading. But with the, t with the Ten of Swords and on top of the Queen of Wands, it looks like to me in February, you've gone through a process with this person, and it's been a very long process with this person, most likely a female figure in your life, whether that be in your career or your personal life or your social life, and you've had it. So with these eclipse energies um, picking up for you, Scorpio, coming out of January and moving into the February energies, I'm seeing a resolution in your mind about a particular person. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So who could that be for you? And I feel like it's because they're not being receptive to your way of 
either showing affection or the way that you naturally support people in your life. And it's feeling like a blockage or a stuckness or just being on a completely different page from this person and them not, them not getting at a very basic essential level of what you have to offer in this relationship. And again, it could be in your career or any project that you're working on as well. Clarify that. Yeah. So I, I'm seeing with the lovers on the Knight of Cups with this water energy, I feel like this, this emotional energy isn't able to pour over into the lover's card in a way that ultimately you would want it to. And so you're done. You're sort of coming to throwing in the towel and realizing that you've done your best and it's just not a match. And perhaps it was in the past. Let's flip over clarifier card here. Hmm. So the Ten of Pentacles in reverse on the Three of Wands in reverse. So this is this is really coming up as in your personal life, Scorpio. I'm feeling more and more now seeing the Ten of Pentacles how you had built a structure with this person and you've had your heyday with them, but that time has passed and it's time to move on. It's time to pick up the pieces and start anew. Um, getting through February in these eclipse energies and it very well could have to do with your home since uh, Aquarius, if you're, if you're Scorpio rising, Aquarius where the eclipses are happening would be in your fourth house and also in your solar chart. So I'm seeing a dismantling of the structure that you've been living with for many, many years. And I don't feel like this was a fling or I don't feel like it was a passing relationship, but something very significant, um, Scorpio, that in February you are coming to conclusions, <coughs> excuse me, that this relationship has served its purpose and you're coming to terms with that. Excuse me, I'm going to take a drink of water. So I'm going to flip over the cards that the energy is leading you into March. The Hanged Man, the Ten of Wands, and the King of Swords. Okay, so with the Hanged Man, I'm just going to go right into flipping this. The Devil, the Chariot, and there's definitely a moving on for you and leaving behind what's not working. So, let me start with this, actually. The Chariot on the, the Ten of Wands. So, Getting through February, Scorpio, and leading into the, the new month of March, you are leaving the burden. You're leaving your burdens. You're dropping your burdens. And it's coming from a place of such resoluteness that you absolutely know in your heart that either this relationship or this project or 
this partnership and it very well could be a business partnership as well. Um, something that a business partnership that perhaps meant so much to you that it felt like family. It has, it just keeps coming up over and over. It served its purpose and it's time to let it go. However, that may be showing up for you, Scorpio. Um, because maybe you're realizing in your quiet moments that you've taken in January up here that these partnerships were, were not built on the truest of convictions initially, and you no longer take value in the way that these, these partnerships, business partnerships, um, home life partnerships were formed. So, and you can, you can see that clearly now, and they fed you for as long as they did in the ways that they did, and perhaps it wasn't the most, maybe it was a codependent relationship, Scorpio, um, where you guys had a lot of fun together and tried to build a solid structure together, which happened. Um, but your values have changed so much since the beginning of this endeavor together that it's just time to close the door so that you can move into something more appropriate for who you are now. And yeah, with the King of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, You're not afraid to cut out the things that aren't working anymore. It's, it's just a very consistent message for you, Scorpio, for the month of February. And I guess my advice would be watch your words and how you deliver your messages. Try to take a more soft approach, even though you're so resolute in in knowing that these partnerships are going to be coming to a close through February. Um, <clears throat> call on your angels and guides to help you keep your temper in check throughout the month of February, Scorpio, um, because the closure of these relationships will happen either way and try to utilize your best judgment and your tact and your patience um, in finalizing the communications with these particular people or projects. So I am going to pull, what am I going to pull for you? I'm going to pull an Archangel Michael card for, from the Doreen Virtual Virtue deck for a little bit more of a message guidance although that seems to be pretty clear spend more time outdoors show you the picture so that could be your saving grace in in moving through the energies of february scorpio is getting your butt outside and communing with nature in order to perhaps channel some of this frustration frustration that you're feeling in this particular partnership that's coming to a close and that you're wrapping up. Um, let me read to you. It says from the little book, Archangel Michael is sending you a message asking you to go outside and connect with nature. The fresh air will help you hear the voice of the divine more readily and clearly, and the natural setting will, will relax and ease your body and mind. All of these factors reduce stress and worry, which will enable you to attract and manifest at higher levels. 
Think of going outside as an investment that pays huge dividends in all ways.